Did you know that nine out of 10 men admit to being completely unaware of what makes them fall in love with a woman? It's shocking, right? But what if I told you that as a Sigma female, you have the power to make any man love you? Today, we're going to explore the dark psychology tricks that will give you the upper hand in the dating game. Welcome, Sigma females. As a group, you're known for your strength, resilience, and independence. But when it comes to relationships, you often face unique challenges. That's where dark psychology comes in. Dark psychology is the study of the human psyche, focusing on the darker aspects of human behavior. By understanding these principles, you can gain a deeper insight into the male mind and use that knowledge to your advantage. As a Sigma female, you may have experienced the following challenges in your relationships. Being misunderstood, being seen as too independent or aloof, or struggling to connect with men on a deeper level. But what if I told you that these challenges can be overcome? By using dark psychology tricks, you can break down the barriers that have been holding you back and attract the kind of men you want. So, let's dive into the nine dark psychology tricks that can help you make any man love you. Trick number one, the art of eye contact. Eye contact is a powerful tool in dark psychology. By maintaining eye contact with a man, you can create a sense of connection and intimacy. For example, try holding eye contact with a man for three to five seconds at a time. Eye contact is one of the most powerful forms of non-verbal communication. It transcends language and can convey emotions, intentions and desires more effectively than words alone. In the context of attracting men, mastering the art of eye contact can create a profound sense of connection and intimacy. Understanding how to wield this tool can enhance your interactions and make you more appealing as a Sigma female. When you make eye contact with someone, you are inviting them into your world. It creates an unspoken bond that can spark interest and attraction. From a psychological standpoint, eye contact can signal confidence, sincerity and openness. Men often interpret steady eye contact as a sign of interest and engagement, which can ignite feelings of attraction. Conversely, avoiding eye contact may come across as disinterest or insecurity, potentially pushing a man away. To harness the power of eye contact, there are a few key techniques to keep in mind. Start by maintaining eye contact for about three to five seconds at a time. This duration is long enough to create a connection, but not so long that it feels uncomfortable. You can then break the gaze and look away briefly before returning your gaze to his eyes. When you make eye contact, pair it with a genuine smile. A warm smile combined with eye contact can amplify feelings of attraction. It conveys warmth and friendliness, making the interaction feel more inviting. While talking to a man, try to maintain eye contact to show that you are fully engaged with him. This demonstrates your interest in what he is saying and can strengthen the bond between you. If you find it challenging to maintain direct eye contact, incorporate fleeting glances. Look into his eyes, then glance away briefly before returning your gaze. This technique creates a playful and flirtatious vibe. While eye contact is generally a positive form of connection in many cultures, some cultures may have different norms regarding eye contact. Be aware of these differences and adjust your approach accordingly. Using eye contact effectively can enhance the emotional intensity of your interactions. When you lock eyes with a man, it can create a sense of intimacy that draws him closer. He may feel more comfortable sharing personal thoughts and feelings, leading to a deeper connection. Additionally, eye contact can evoke feelings of vulnerability and trust. When someone looks you in the eye, it often feels as if they are truly seeing you for who you are. This can foster a sense of openness and authenticity in your relationship, making it easier for him to fall for you. Mastering the art of eye contact is an essential skill for Sigma females looking to attract men. 
by holding eye contact for three to five seconds, smiling genuinely and being engaged in conversations, you can create an undeniable connection. Remember, eye contact is not just about looking at someone, it's about communicating your interest and building intimacy. So, the next time you're interacting with a man, don't underestimate the power of your gaze. It could be the spark that ignites a deeper relationship. Interesting. Stay with us to learn more. Trick number two, the art of flirting. Flirting is a powerful tool in dark psychology. By flirting with a man, you can create a sense of playfulness and attraction. Flirting is more than just a fun way to interact with someone. It's a powerful tool in the realm of dark psychology that can create a sense of playfulness and attraction. When done right, flirting can build a connection that makes a man feel special and desired. For Sigma females, who often embody confidence and independence, mastering the art of flirting can make dating more exciting and fulfilling. At its core, flirting is a playful communication style that signals romantic interest. It involves teasing, light-hearted banter, and subtle hints that convey attraction without being overly aggressive. Flirting allows you to express your interest in a man while keeping the atmosphere light and fun. This approach can help break the ice and make interactions feel more relaxed. Flirting works because it engages both parties in a playful manner. It creates a sense of excitement and unpredictability that can draw a man in. When you flirt, you tap into his emotions, making him feel alive and intrigued. Additionally, flirting can elevate the chemistry between you, making it easier for him to see you as more than just a friend. Playful teasing is an excellent way to flirt. It shows that you have a sense of humor and can keep things light. For example, if a man mentions his love for a particular movie, you might tease him by saying, oh really? I guess I should prepare for a movie night with the expert. This approach is playful and invites him to engage with you further. Wit can be incredibly attractive. A clever or humorous comment can create a memorable interaction. For instance, if he tells you a story about a clumsy moment, you could respond with, wow, you should definitely consider becoming a stunt double. This kind of response keeps the conversation lively and shows off your personality. Your body language plays a crucial role in flirting. Lean in slightly when talking, maintain eye contact, and smile warmly. These subtle cues can signal your interest and create a sense of closeness. Mirroring his body language can also foster connection and make him feel more comfortable around you. The best flirting comes from being yourself. Authenticity is attractive, so don't try to put on a facade. Share your true thoughts and feelings and allow your personality to shine through. This approach will help you build a genuine connection. Flirting should be fun and enjoyable for both parties. If you notice that a man isn't responding positively or seems uncomfortable, it's essential to respect his boundaries. Back off and give him space. Flirting should never feel forced or awkward. When you successfully flirt with a man, it creates an atmosphere of attraction and excitement. He may start to view you as someone who is fun, engaging and confident. Flirting can also lead to deeper conversations as it often encourages both parties to open up and share personal stories. Moreover, flirting can help dispel any preconceived notions he may have about Sigma females. It shows that you can be both strong and approachable. By demonstrating your playful side, you make it clear that you're not just a serious, independent woman but also someone who enjoys life and values connection. The art of flirting is a powerful tool every Sigma female should embrace. By using playful teasing, witty remarks, and engaging body language, you can create a sense of attraction and connection with men. Remember to be authentic and to respect boundaries, ensuring that flirting remains a fun and enjoyable experience for both of you. So, 
Let your playful side shine and watch as you draw men into your world. Have you ever tried this with any man? Comment below to share your story with us. Trick number three, push-pull technique. Show interest, then pull back slightly. This keeps him intrigued, wondering what you'll do next. The push-pull technique is an intriguing strategy used in relationships to create a dynamic interplay of attraction and curiosity. By alternating between showing interest and then pulling back slightly, you can keep your partner engaged and intrigued. As a Sigma female, this technique allows you to maintain your independence while fostering a deeper connection with the man in your life. At its core, the push-pull technique involves a dance of attraction where you give and take. The push refers to the moments when you actively show your interest, affection and enthusiasm. This could be through compliments, spending quality time together or expressing your feelings. The pull, on the other hand, involves stepping back and creating a bit of emotional distance. This balance creates a sense of mystery making him wonder about your feelings and what you might do next. When you push, it's essential to be genuine in your expressions of interest. This could be as simple as sending a thoughtful text, being attentive during conversations, or planning fun activities together. For example, tell him how much you enjoyed a recent conversation or share excitement about an upcoming event you both like. These moments of connection solidify your bond and make him feel appreciated. After creating those moments of closeness, it's time to introduce the pull. You might do this by being less available for a bit. Perhaps you focus on your own interests or spend time with friends. This doesn't mean disappearing entirely, but instead creating a little space. For instance, if you've been chatting daily, consider taking a day or two to focus on yourself. This slight withdrawal allows him to reflect on your relationship and wonder about your feelings. The push-pull technique naturally piques curiosity. When you show interest and then pull back, he may start to wonder why. Is everything okay? Does she still like me? This uncertainty can drive him to think more about you and your relationship. It creates a dynamic that keeps him on his toes wanting to understand your feelings and intentions. While the push-pull technique can be effective, it's crucial to maintain balance. Too much pushing can lead to overwhelm, while too much pulling can create feelings of neglect. Being aware of his reactions is essential. If you notice he seems confused or distant, it might be time to re-establish that connection more firmly. Effective communication is key in this technique. When you pull back, make sure to keep the lines of communication open. A simple text or brief call can reassure him that you still care. You might say something like, I've been busy, but I'm looking forward to catching up soon. This keeps the connection alive without overwhelming him. In conclusion, the push-pull technique is a powerful tool for Sigma females aiming to create intrigue and maintain a dynamic relationship. By alternating between showing interest and stepping back slightly, you keep your partner engaged and curious about what's coming next. This balance not only enhances attraction, but also fosters a deeper emotional connection. Embrace this technique and watch as your relationship evolves with excitement and anticipation. Interesting, let's delve into next trick. Trick number four, mirroring. Mirror your partner's body language to create a sense of rapport and build trust. Have you ever noticed how some people just seem to click? They share jokes, laugh easily, and feel comfortable around each other. One of the secrets to this effortless connection is a technique called mirroring. Mirroring involves subtly mimicking the body language, gestures, and even speech patterns of the person you're interacting with. This technique can be especially effective in building rapport and trust between you and your partner. The science behind mirroring is quite fascinating. When you mirror someone, it creates a sense of familiarity and comfort. It signals to the other person that you are in sync with them, both emotionally and physically. This can help lower barriers, 
making your partner feel more at ease and open to connecting with you on a deeper level. When people feel understood and connected, they are more likely to trust you and share their thoughts and feelings. Start by paying attention to your partner's body language. Notice how they sit, their gestures and their facial expressions. This awareness will help you understand their comfort level and emotional state. Once you've observed their body language, begin to subtly mimic it. If your partner crosses their arms, consider crossing yours as well. If they lean forward while talking, lean in too. The key is to be subtle. You don't want to make it obvious that you're copying them, as that can seem insincere or even awkward. Along with body language, pay attention to the energy of the conversation. If your partner is excited and animated, match that enthusiasm with your tone and expressions. Conversely, if the conversation is serious, adopt a more thoughtful demeanor. Eye contact is a powerful form of non-verbal communication. When your partner speaks, maintain eye contact to show that you're engaged and interested. If they look away, you can gently follow their gaze, creating a natural flow in the conversation. Let's say you're sitting across from your partner at dinner. If they lean in while sharing a story, lean in slightly as well. This physical closeness can enhance the connection. If they laugh and gesture with their hands, respond with laughter and use similar hand movements. These small, natural imitations foster a sense of unity and understanding. Another example is during a serious conversation. If your partner crosses their arms while discussing something important, you might do the same, showing that you are engaged in the topic and reflecting their seriousness. Mirroring is a simple yet powerful technique that can significantly enhance your connection with your partner. By subtly mimicking their body language and energy, you create a sense of rapport and trust. This can lead to deeper conversations and a stronger emotional bond. Remember, the goal is to foster a genuine connection. So practice mirroring in a way that feels natural and comfortable for both of you. When done right, it can transform your interactions and help you build a meaningful relationship. Have you ever done this with any man? A comment below. Trick 5. The Art of Flattery Compliment him genuinely but sparingly. Make sure your words are heartfelt and he'll crave your approval. Flattery, when done right, is a powerful tool in the art of attraction. It's not about showering someone with insincere compliments but about offering genuine praise that resonates with the other person. As a Sigma female, you possess the unique ability to observe and understand people deeply. This insight allows you to tailor your compliments in a way that feels authentic and meaningful. The key to effective flattery is sincerity. Instead of generic or overused compliments, focus on something specific and personal about him. Maybe it's the way he handled a challenging situation or his thoughtful approach to problem solving. When you compliment something that truly matters to him, it shows that you are paying attention and valuing his unique qualities. While it's important to compliment genuinely, doing so sparingly adds an element of intrigue. If you continuously shower someone with praise, it can lose its impact, becoming something expected rather than cherished. By offering compliments occasionally, you make each one special and memorable. It's similar to savoring a fine piece of chocolate. Too much at once can be overwhelming, but just the right amount leaves you wanting more. To ensure your words are heartfelt, think about what you genuinely appreciate about him. It could be his sense of humor, his dedication to a hobby, or even how he treats others with kindness. When you express this appreciation, do so with warmth and authenticity. For example, instead of saying, you're so smart, try, I really admire how you always find creative solutions to problems. It's inspiring. When someone receives a genuine compliment, it activates the reward centers in their brain, releasing feel-good hormones like dopamine. 
This creates a positive association with the person giving the compliment, you. Additionally, genuine praise boosts self-esteem and can even motivate someone to live up to those positive words. It's a win-win for both parties involved. When your compliments are heartfelt and infrequent, they become something he looks forward to. He'll begin to associate your presence with positive reinforcement and validation. This creates a subtle desire for your approval and attention as your words carry weight and significance. Over time, this can deepen the bond between you as he becomes more invested in maintaining this dynamic. Here are a few examples of how to apply the art of flattery. If he shares his artwork or a project he's passionate about, say, I love how your creativity shines through in your work. It's truly unique. When he tells a story or joke that makes you laugh, you might comment, your sense of humor always brightens my day. If he shows kindness to others, acknowledge it with, the way you treat people with such respect really stands out to me. In essence, the art of flattery is about recognizing and appreciating the qualities that make him who he is, while ensuring your words remain impactful and treasured. By doing so, you'll not only strengthen the connection, but also create an environment where both of you feel valued and understood. Share your experiences with flattery in the comments below. Trick six, emotional roller coaster. The concept of an emotional roller coaster involves creating a dynamic range of experiences in a relationship to keep things exciting and engaging. It's about balancing moments of joy with occasional manageable conflicts to maintain interest and connection. As a Sigma female, you're naturally independent and introspective, which gives you the insight to navigate these emotional fluctuations with grace and authenticity. In any relationship, predictability can sometimes lead to stagnation. An emotional roller coaster introduces a variety of experiences that mimic the thrilling highs and lows of life itself. It's not about unnecessary drama or conflict, but about fostering a relationship that feels alive and vibrant. These shifts in emotion can deepen the connection as both partners engage fully with each other's thoughts and feelings. Laughter is a powerful tool in building intimacy. It breaks down barriers, creates shared memories, and fosters a sense of camaraderie, whether it's through playful teasing, sharing funny stories, or enjoying a comedy show together, laughter helps solidify your bond. It's a reminder of the joy you bring into each other's lives and can make everyday moments feel special. Healthy relationships aren't devoid of disagreements. In fact, small conflicts can be beneficial. They provide opportunities for growth and understanding. As a Sigma female, it's important to approach disagreements with open-mindedness and respect. Instead of seeing a difference in opinion as negative, view it as a chance to explore each other's perspectives. For example, you might have different tastes in music or movies. Instead of dismissing his preferences, engage in a friendly debate. Ask questions like, what do you like about this genre? Or, tell me what makes this song special to you. This kind of interaction encourages deeper conversations and helps you learn more about each other. The key to a successful emotional roller coaster is balance. Too many downs can lead to unnecessary stress, while too many ups may make the relationship feel superficial. Aim for a natural flow of emotions where joyful moments are punctuated by minor disagreements that are easily resolved. This balance ensures that both partners feel secure and appreciated, even when navigating different emotions. Introduce spontaneity into your routine. Surprise him with an unexpected outing or an impromptu dance in the living room. These spontaneous acts create memorable experiences and keep the relationship fresh. Engage in activities that challenge each other in a fun way, like playing a game or solving puzzles together. These challenges can lead to laughter, as well as friendly competition. Share your thoughts and feelings. Letting him see your vulnerable side can strengthen the bond, making the highs and lows more meaningful. 
Creating an emotional roller coaster doesn't just keep the relationship exciting, it also builds resilience. By navigating different emotions together, you develop a deeper understanding of each other's needs and boundaries. This dynamic interaction fosters trust and allows both of you to grow individually and as a couple. Ultimately, the emotional roller coaster is about embracing the full spectrum of human emotions. It's about laughing together, resolving differences with care, and cherishing every moment that makes your relationship unique. By doing so, you create a vibrant and fulfilling connection that stands the test of time. Trick number seven, scarcity principle. Let him feel your absence. Take time for yourself, and he'll value your presence even more. The scarcity principle is a fascinating concept in psychology that suggests people tend to value things more when they are perceived as limited or unavailable. In the context of relationships, applying this principle can enhance the value of your presence in a man's life. As a Sigma female, embracing your independence and taking time for yourself can create a sense of intrigue and desire, making your partner appreciate you even more. When something is scarce, it often becomes more desirable. Think about it. If you see a limited edition product or a rare item, it catches your attention simply because it's not readily available. Similarly, when you allow yourself to be less accessible, you create a sense of longing. This doesn't mean playing games or being manipulative. Instead, it's about recognizing your worth and valuing your own time and space. As a Sigma female, you likely cherish your independence and personal interests. Embrace this by setting aside time for yourself. Engage in hobbies, spend time with friends, or simply enjoy moments of solitude. This self-care not only enriches your own life, but also allows you to bring more to the relationship. When you focus on your passions, you become more interesting and fulfilled, and this energy is attractive. When you take time for yourself, it naturally creates moments of absence in the relationship. This absence can evoke feelings of longing in your partner. For instance, if you usually hang out several times a week, consider reducing that frequency for a short period. Use that time to recharge, explore new activities, or pursue personal goals. When you do come back together, he'll likely notice the difference and appreciate your presence even more. When you're less available, you can build anticipation for your time together. Instead of being a constant presence, plan your interactions thoughtfully. For example, schedule a special date night after a week of focused personal time. This creates a sense of excitement and makes your partner look forward to those moments. He'll appreciate your company more because it's not taken for granted. Your absence can create a sense of curiosity and desire. When he misses you, it can lead to deeper feelings and a stronger emotional connection. This longing encourages him to reflect on what makes your relationship special and valuable. As he thinks about the times you've spent together, he may come to realize how important you are in his life. While it's essential to create scarcity, it's equally important to maintain balance. You don't want to create so much distance that it leads to feelings of neglect or insecurity. Be mindful of how often you engage and communicate, ensuring that your absence feels intentional and not dismissive. In summary, applying the scarcity principle in your relationship can significantly enhance the connection you share. By valuing your time and taking breaks for yourself, you create a sense of intrigue and appreciation in your partner. When you do come together, he'll be reminded of your worth and the joy you bring into his life. Ultimately, this approach deepens the bond and leads to a more fulfilling and meaningful relationship. Brace your independence and watch how it transforms your connection. Trick eight, the power of vulnerability. Show men your vulnerable side to create a sense of connection and intimacy. As a Sigma female, you may have been taught to be strong and independent, to never show your emotions or weaknesses. 
But what if I told you that being vulnerable can be a powerful tool in attracting men and creating a deeper connection? Vulnerability is not about being weak or fragile. It's about being open and honest about your feelings, fears and desires. When you show men your vulnerable side, you create a sense of connection and intimacy that's hard to resist. Men are wired to respond to vulnerability. When a woman is vulnerable, it triggers a man's protective instincts, making him want to care for and protect her. This is because vulnerability is a sign of trust, and when a woman trusts a man enough to be vulnerable around him, it creates a sense of safety and security. Moreover, vulnerability is a sign of emotional intelligence. When a woman can express her emotions and be vulnerable, it shows that she's in touch with her feelings and is not afraid to express them. This is highly attractive to men, as it shows that she's confident and self-aware. So, how can you show your vulnerable side to men? Here are a few tips. Share your fears and doubts with your partner and be honest about what's holding you back. This will create a sense of mutual understanding and empathy. Be open about your emotions. Don't be afraid to express your emotions, even if they're negative. This will show your partner that you're in touch with your feelings and are not afraid to express them. Show your vulnerable side through body language. Use your body language to show your vulnerable side. Lean in when talking to your partner, make eye contact, and use open and relaxed body language. Be willing to take risks. Be willing to take risks and be vulnerable in your interactions with your partner. This will create a sense of excitement and adventure. Here are a few examples of vulnerability in action. I'm really scared about this new project at work. I'm not sure if I'm ready for the challenge. I feel really overwhelmed when you're not around. I miss you and feel lost without you. I'm not sure if I'm good enough for you. I feel like I'm not meeting your expectations. These statements may seem simple, but they show a level of vulnerability and openness that can create a deep sense of connection and intimacy. Vulnerability is a powerful tool in attracting men and creating a deeper connection. By showing your vulnerable side, you create a sense of trust, safety and security that's hard to resist. Remember, vulnerability is not about being weak or fragile. It's about being open and honest about your feelings, fears and desires. So don't be afraid to show your vulnerable side. It may just be the key to creating a deeper and more meaningful connection with the men in your life. Trick number nine, the power of touch. Touch is a powerful tool in attracting men. By touching a man in a subtle way, you can create a sense of physical connection and intimacy. Touch is a fundamental human need. It's a way to connect with others, to show affection, and to build intimacy. When it comes to attracting men, touch can be a powerful tool in creating a sense of physical connection and intimacy. But how can you use touch to your advantage? When we touch someone, our brains release oxytocin, often referred to as the love hormone. Oxytocin is responsible for creating feelings of attachment trust and bonding. It's the same hormone that's released during physical intimacy, but it's also released during non-sexual touch, such as hugging, holding hands, or even just a light touch on the arm. So how can you use touch to attract a man? The key is to use subtle touch. You don't need to be overtly physical or aggressive. In fact, subtle touch can be much more effective in creating a sense of connection and intimacy. Here are a few examples of subtle touch. Touching a man's arm or shoulder while talking to him. Lightly brushing your hand against his while walking or sitting together. Gently touching his hand or wrist while he's talking. Playfully tapping him on the shoulder or back. Subtle touch works because it creates a sense of physical connection without being too overt. It's a way to build intimacy and create a sense of closeness without being too aggressive. When you touch a man in a subtle way, you're sending a signal that you're interested in him and that you feel comfortable around him. So, how can you use subtle touch in your daily interactions with men? Here are a few tips. 
Start with small, casual touches. Try touching a man's arm or shoulder while talking to him. Pay attention to his body language. If he seems uncomfortable or pulls away, respect his boundaries and back off. Use touch to emphasize a point or to show interest. For example, you could touch a man's hand while he's talking to show that you're engaged and interested. Be mindful of cultural and personal boundaries. Some people may be more comfortable with touch than others, so be sure to respect their boundaries. Here are a few examples of subtle touch in action. You're on a date with a man and you're walking together. You lightly brush your hand against his as you walk, creating a sense of physical connection and intimacy. You're talking to a man at a party and you touch his arm to emphasize a point. He looks at you and smiles, feeling a sense of connection and attraction. You're sitting next to a man at a coffee shop and you gently touch his hand while he's talking. He looks at you and feels a sense of intimacy and connection. Touch is a powerful tool in attracting men. By using subtle touch, you can create a sense of physical connection and intimacy. Remember to start with small, casual touches and to pay attention to a man's body language. With practice, you can use touch to build intimacy and create a sense of connection with the men in your life. But the most powerful trick of all is trick number nine, the power of touch. By touching a man in a subtle way, you can create a sense of physical connection and intimacy. This is because touch releases oxytocin, the love hormone, in the brain. By releasing oxytocin, you can create a sense of deep connection and attachment. So the next time you're on a date, try touching the man's arm or shoulder. You'll be surprised at how powerful this trick can be. And there you have it. Nine dark psychology tricks to make any man love you. By using these tricks, you can tap into the subconscious mind of any man and create a deep sense of connection and intimacy. Remember, as a Sigma female, you have the power to attract any man you desire. Don't be afraid to use these tricks to get what you want. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like and subscribe for more content on relationships and psychology. And if you have any personal experiences with these tricks, be sure to share them in the comments below. Don't forget to check out our next video. And if you want to learn more about dark psychology, be sure to subscribe on our channel.